guys welcome back to a brand new video today today we are going to continue our autumn design now this was the last one we're going to do something with these got these from my garden definitely autumn and I just want to clarify if you're going to use anything like this please sanitize these before putting them on a real client um, and also put a base layer down so this is not actually on the natural nail itself this eliminates um, any sort of uh, contamination and stops any sort of breeding in diseases and things like that so we don't want to do anything like that so why we're we using molly today i thought i'd just try these i'm going to use these glitters again to stay with the theme of the autumn so this is terracotta this is neo's grass green I'm going to use a little bit of silver iridescence in there and of course the gold. So let me get back to you and I'll get myself ready. Also we're going to still be using our gold leaf. Okay guys welcome back now I've got everything I need hopefully there. And what I'm going to do first off is I'm using Max Edition acrylic liquid as always with my nails clear and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a clear cap layer on as follows because we are treating as if this is a natural nail and tip just going to put that clear base on and as I said if this was a real client make sure everything is sanitized before you do anything like this um, with real leaves they've obviously been out in the elements and you don't know what has happened to them so I have going to sanitize these leaves with cleaning spray and I'm just going to sanitize them back and front You would obviously be a, bit, be a bit more thorough if it was a real client but we are doing that just to demonstrate to you today the importance of making sure anything from the outside that you want to use within the nail to sanitize clean and make sure um, your client is happy with that and you know you can only try your best to stop any sort of infection brewing um, you know, and these obviously, these type of things will or could um, end up having the nail being affected. But we can't stop this from happening. We can only try our best to stop and prevent, if that all makes sense. Sorry if it doesn't, but I know what I mean and hopefully you will get what I mean there. So we're waiting for this to dry. I'm going to use a bit of red. So what I'm going to use is a pair of scissors. I'm just cutting random bits off this. Um, I'm just going to use random pieces really. And then the same with the green. You want those veins in there as well. Do a bit of yellow, yellow and green together. Absolutely amazing colours. Just randomly cutting away these leaves. To 
just to make a sort of pattern. So we've got um, a fair bit of leaves there now. this layer now should be dry so we're just going to put a little wet bit on where we're going to put our leaves just grab a bit of leaf I'm just going to place this leaf if it'll go got these yesterday so it might have just dried out a tad the fresher the leaf the better just doesn't want to stay. We'll make it stay, don't worry. Go underneath that nail, so that leaf, press that down and keep it there for a few seconds. This is the hard bit, I think, getting these leaves to stay where you want them to go. So now that, that is my dryer. We'll leave that for a little while. Hopefully it'll stay put. If we need to, we can use tweezers to actually put that into place. If a bit sticks out, that's, uh, don't worry about it, we can file that away. Um, the lighting on this is not very good, I'm afraid. I'm sorry about that, guys. Should put my lamp on really, but the way I've got my um, hand trainer at the moment set up, it may not reach. We can try. See a lot better there. This is taking forever, and I'm only trying to do this um, the best I can. Okay, we're gonna put some here, maybe, maybe here. I'm just using that bit of acrylic there, just to, as a. Basically, just as a bridge there to stick these on. Again, if things are sticking out, don't worry, it can be filed away. Just making sure that that is secure more than anything. Got a bit of green at the top. This is more like a glass nail, but it's going to have a bit of glitter in, in there as well, just to make it a little bit more decorative. Now, if that is too long, which this is definitely too long, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut here. Oh my 
gonna do maybe another one down here. So we're gonna just do this. This is just um, one way of bringing the autumn into nail art. Um, I don't like that one. The end of the day, it's just a little bit of a fun design to do. And as I say, if you're using this on a natural nail, on a client, just be mindful that these leaves could be full of bugs or diseases, <laughs> a dog's weed on it, anything, anything could be on these leaves. So. These are quite hard to encapsulate to be fair with you. I am finding them hard to actually get on this nail. But we're not going to be defeated are we? We're going to have a bit of fun. That's, I think maybe, as I said to you before, because they've been in the house, 24 hours, it may be because of that. There we go. I'm gonna leave that to dry for a bit and then I will be back. Okay. They are not entirely dry, but I want to do the glitter within the spaces that you can see. So all I'm doing is picking up a clear beard and then dipping them into each glitter. So there's a mixture there. Okay. It's just a mixture of that, all those glitters together, which makes it more interesting I think and just basically go within those lines and you can go a little bit over that leaf it's not um, sort of be all and end all if you do I think it adds to the elements so do it again into that clear into the green into the terracotta into the silver into the gold and then we're just going to add some here and there. Also be mindful you're at the cuticle area, so... You don't want to make it too bulky up there. Even gone a little bit over the leaf there, and that's that's quite cool actually. And that one. Again, clear, green, terracotta, silver. any excuse really to play with some glitter. I love glitter and I think it makes the nail absolutely gorgeous. And I think doing the dip way the way I've just done it adds the element of you can see all the different glitters together and you're not missing any glitter out. I just love it. Just love it. And then up to the ends. Don't forget to just put a little bit over that leaf. And then
bit bulky at the moment, but um, once we've clear capped it, it'll look absolutely gorgeous. Now we're going to add a tad bit of this gold leaf. Now I'm literally just breaking little tiny pieces off because I still want to encapsulate these together to add to the uh, theme of the gold leaf. making it too bulky because we, it's going to be that difficult to try and encapsulate and all that. This nail, you have glitters, you have real leaves, and you also have the gold leaf. It just, it's just autumn, an autumn nail. I'm gonna leave this to dry, guys, and then we're gonna come back and cap this nail. Okay, we've left this a little bit. We're going to encapsulate this nail now into. Just capping the, the whole lot. I don't know why I said into because it's not into anything really. There we go. I'm going to get this bead. There may be bits sticking up, so you've got to be mindful of that. Remember, you've got your cuticle area here where you don't want to make it bulky. You're pushing that up and then we're bringing it down. big bead to cover all this. And if you feel it needs more capping at the top, then do so. I'm in an awkward position trying to film and do this as well, so I do apologise if I go out to shop. Trying to make you see what I can do, what I'm doing, sorry, and it's just a bit difficult trying to do it and film at the same time. So, I'm going to put it there. Tapping that down. There is bits of leaf sticking out, but don't worry about it. As long as you're capping the majority of that nail, then it's um, easily filed away. dry enough if I can focus okay we've got a hundred grit file doing our side walls today as usual we do our side walls first this just makes 
much, it's so much neater, so much nicer. So when you're doing your side walls, anything that was left over the side is basically now gone. I don't like using a 100 grit file around the cuticle area. I would use 180. However, I haven't got 180, don't think, on me. So I'm gonna use the 100. Molly's just the trainer. We shouldn't use it, but we are. So just going around that cuticle area. This was a real, real client that we wouldn't do this at all. Breaking a lot of rules here today. I'm showing you not, not to do this on a real client. <laughs> oh god! But anyway, we are using Molly. Molly won't mind. She's not going to say anything. Just use a lower grit file around that cuticle area, guys. Okay, we'll be doing this for real. We're done there. And then we're just going to contour the actual bit. Contouring it. So you can't see now, I was out of focus. Um, making it all smooth. Smooth enough. So the file just glides over that nail. When you're happy with your filing, you get your block. I've got a pink block, you can get white blocks, doesn't really matter what type of block you've got. Or you can use a buffer. So we're just basically buffing the nail now smooth. Camera. It's not good. I'm using my phone so if, on a tripod and every time I sort of file I bump it so I do apologise if it's a bit wobbly there. Then we get on in three pad with our acetone. This is to get rid of all dust and smooth that layer out. going to do the top coat. The top coat I'll be using as normal is Urban Graffiti by Neo. This is what you call glitter porn. If you like your glitter and if you like the way it just starts coming alive once you get that top coat on, you will love this. So getting that glitter you can see that glitter I hope you can see that on camera the leaves look amazing as well wow that is one ruby ass nail I do say so myself I think I'd have this just to be a bit different um, but again, I would sanitise the arse off those leaves <laughs> just to, um, you know, to make sure that I'm not going to give myself an infection with those leaves. But if I don't even see, hopefully the light will let me focus right on that. what you call autumn captures in a nail. 
We are now going to put this in our LED lamp for 60 seconds. If you have a UV, it will be two minutes. And then finish your service off with cuticle oil and then you're done. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. I appreciate every like and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, would you consider doing so? I'd be so made up and um, I'm, I just want to say thank you for the ones who have subbed me in the last few weeks. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. Um, please feel free to comment, give me some feedback. If you'd like to see me do something that I, you know, I'd like to challenge myself all the time. So, take it easy, see you soon. And we've got two more nails to finish off this autumn. I'm not going to do the thumb. Molly has no thumb on this design, I'm afraid. So, if you think of anything that I can do for next time, drop me a line. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.